Take away the Wi-Fi. I know. Hi. Not again. Can you believe it? When do I ever get time to record my videos without people interfering? In the last video, you saw what happened when I went out to do like a camera comparison between the Mini 2, the uh, Mini 3 Pro and the Autel Nano Plus. I was locating myself on a parking lot here close by, away from everything. And despite that, there was a lady pulling up starting to interfere with my flying, trying to film me and document whatever I'm doing. Because she thought I was not allowed to fly in close proximity to private property. And of course she was completely way off in her approach as she was not even willing to enter a dialogue with me. She was just busy filming me with her cell phone, documenting the incident. I do want to say for the record, I didn't fly anywhere near private property. Also, I didn't hear anything from the police afterwards, which I would have expected as this was probably the intent of her documenting everything. Let's just reiterate the rules for sub 250 gram drones here in Europe. You are allowed to fly over people. You are not allowed to fly over groups of people. You can fly inside urban areas, but you are not allowed to fly over private property. Also, you need to respect people's privacy. This is not only related to drones, but to cameras in general when you're filming people in public. Also, you need to keep a safe distance to airports, government buildings and other critical infrastructure. Apart from that, there's not many limitations for sub 250 gram drones. But of course, you need to use common sense if you want to minimize situations like the ones with the bird lady and also the bird man that has previously been posted here on the channel. Apart from producing premium content here for the channel, it's also pretty annoying for me when I concentrate about doing videos for you guys that I have to deal with these kind of persons. So this was uh, the reason why I decided uh, when I had to do like a DJI Mini 3 Pro signal test to go outside the city to a well-known location where I've flown many times without any issues. These are just plain fields, but I know from experience that this area is prone to trouble, at least it was with the old smart controller that had a ton of connection glitches and deterioration of the signal when flying in this area. It's probably caused by a cell phone tower that is located close by. And by the way, if you want to see the signal test, I will make sure to link that in one of the end cards. So I was concentrating very deeply and I was trying to do all sorts of things with my cell phone and AirPods uh, to try and see if I could break the connection to the drone that was located somewhere three, four hundred meters out over the field. Testing all sorts of combinations, uh, enabling or disabling both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. No, should not stop screen recording. You put it in airplane mode here. Take away the Wi-Fi. Then a white van appeared and it was pulling in and parking next to me on this remote parking spot outside the city. And then you know, I know, it can either go two ways. Either it's somebody that's interested in what you're doing or it's somebody that wants to approach your flying. I always start out friendly by greeting people. Hi. But to be quite frank, I was actually a little bit annoyed that I had to deal with this right now. So the guy steps out of the van and immediately starts to scout the horizon. Then he kicks off the conversation by saying, are you the one that is flying your drone over my property over there? I immediately tell him I'm not the one. I. Get it. Then he said, they have a lot of nerve as they keep circling around my garden. After the bike, they can circle in all over here. Then I reconfirmed that I'm not the one because I actually do this for a living. I'm not completely as a living, but at least I use this as a serious side income. So I know the rules and I know that this is not proper behavior to circle above people's uh, private property. I think I... Yeah, live over here. And then he all of a sudden recognizes me and then he realizes that we have been talking before. <laughs> then I just reconfirmed with him that he was the farmer owning the land living in, at the property on the other side of the road. Yeah, that's right. Are you a farmer? Yes. I remember you have talked about it before, where we have talked about it. It was just now two times. No, no. You can be sure that it is. And then the conversation goes a little bit back and forward where we just confirm each other's existence, basically. <laughs> I also confirmed that I remember talking to him about flying on his property. Of course, he was super annoyed because this has happened twice recently. Um, this can you find 
Det må det, det må man ikke. And I'm reassuring him again, it was not me. And I told him he should not put up with this because the pilot is breaking the law. Ved du hvad, lad mig lige her. Lige Fordi den er ved at tør for batteri. Sådan der. As you can hear, the drone was low on battery, and it's not according to the book that somebody interferes with you during an active flight. So I just asked him politely if I could land the drone so we could continue the discussion. While the drone is out of landing, we continue the discussion and he's asking questions. Uh, what if it was like a public instance that was doing this drone flight instead of a private person? Then I informed him about a special paragraph in uh, the Danish law that describes what is allowed and what is not allowed in regards to uh, protecting your privacy when you're being filmed or taken photos of. Then he's asking or maybe concluding if the government is allowed to fly over his fields or his areas without prior permission. Ja, det kan godt være. Det skal jeg ikke kunne se, men som privatperson må det. Men det, jeg kan ikke forestille mig, at de må gøre det uden øh, at spørge om lov. To my best knowledge, they can do that without asking permission, because the farmer does not own the airspace above his fields. As long as they decide to take off outside the farmer's land, they can cross it within the current limitations of visual line of sight and all the other stuff. But flying over the land is one thing, but I find it very hard to believe if they are allowed to invade people's privacy. Even though they're the government, they are not above the law. So I find it very unlikely this is the government that has been performing those flights. It's more a private person that found the garden where the farmer lives quite interesting and wanted to see what's going on. We kept the dialogue going a little bit back and forward around the topic, what the government is allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do. And I ended up reconfirming the agreement I made last time with this guy that I could continue flying over his fields as long as I didn't fly in close proximity where he lived. Nej, jeg holder mig til den aftale, vi lavede sidst, om at øh, jeg flyver over din mark, og nogle gange har jeg fløjet lidt den vej ned, men aldrig op mod din... Øh... Bare øh, op over vores hus. <laughs> Nej, det er i orden. Tak. But both you and I know that I don't need his permission, as I'm taking off and landing outside his land. But it's still better to have a common understanding, so I can just go to this spot and fly whenever I need, and I don't need to worry about this guy approaching me, trying to escalate the situation. So this was a very good example that you can't really predict what happens uh, when people are approaching you when you are out flying. This time it was a very pleasant encounter, very, very different from the two other situations with the bird man and the bird lady. In case you missed out these two videos, I'll make sure to leave those in the description below. I perfectly understand the reaction from this guy. I would also be super pissed if there was a drone sipping around inside my garden uh, all the time when I just wanted to be left alone and enjoy my privacy. Also, if you're interested in the signal test that I was actually performing that day, as well as other videos about the DJI Mini 3 Pro, I've compiled a playlist with all the videos that I've made around this great drone that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.